The next business of the House is the election of a speaker. Is there a nomination for speaker? The member for Barker. Casey, do take the chair of this House as Speaker. First uh, elected in 2001, uh, the member for Casey's long years of dedicated service in this House, in our view, will equip him well to be an outstanding Speaker of this Parliament. As an electoral neighbour to my electorate of Deakin, I've had the absolute privilege of working very, very closely with the member for Casey and, in doing so, have seen firsthand the understanding and respect that the honourable member has for our parliament and its traditions and conventions. The member for Casey has been a fearless advocate for his electorate and has always been dependable and trustworthy. And I must say that, on a personal level, he is extraordinarily honest, perhaps with one exception. Anyone who knows Tony knows he's an absolute rev head. <laughs> and he's a Holden man through and through, and he and I have had many arguments being a Ford man myself. But he's honest to a fault, with one exception, and I'm very sorry, Tony. Um, my message to Pam, his wonderful wife, is there's been many, many occasions where Tony's purchased a car first and told you second, Pam. <laughs> But more importantly, all of us who know the member for Casey know that he's got a keen intellect, is very well respected by his colleagues on both sides of the chamber, and I'm therefore extraordinarily confident that Tony Smith has the experience, temperament and strength necessary to instil respect and trust in our parliamentary institutions. So it's a great honour for me to be able to nominate Tony Smith, member for Casey, as Speaker. Yeah.